if you run a lot of web-based applications, whether they're in Docker or on another computer inside your network, or they just run on a funky port, it's really nice to be able to access them from the internet. And you don't always want to have to like port forward. It'd be nice to have a really easy, smooth way to have SSL access to an internal service on your network without exposing unnecessary things. And that's where the really simplistic program Caddy comes into play. Now, if you're not familiar with the idea of a reverse proxy, basically what happens is you expose web ports like 80 or 443, and then based on a name like service1.example.com or box2.net, I don't know, whatever domain names you have, you can map them to the reverse proxy and then it connects the name-based service behind the scenes to a particular port inside either the same computer or even on the network. Like this could actually be going across a network and connect to another computer inside behind the reverse proxy. This just kind of acts as a waypoint between a service running on a wacky port and a name-based access to it running on ports 80 and 443. Now, what makes Caddy really, really nice is it handles all of the SSL stuff using Let's Encrypt automatically behind the scenes, keeps it updated. You don't even have to configure that part at all. You just make sure the DNS name maps to the IP address of the proxy server running Caddy and everything else is automatic. We're going to install it and set it up and show you just how simple it is to use reverse proxies to access those things that you don't want to expose weird ports on the internet for. Now I'm using a server I have in the cloud called cloud.brainofshawn.com. It's not currently running a web server or a proxy server at all. So I'm going to actually install that. But in order to install Caddy, we have to go to the website because it's not going to be in your Linux distributions repository. So we go here to the caddyserver.com website, docs, download, and scroll down to, uh, I'm running Ubuntu, but there's instructions for whatever Linux OS you're using. And basically we're going to add a line or actually add a list file in the app sources and we're going to install caddy using this so let's actually just copy this come over here we'll paste it okay it looks like that's done let's do an apt update looks like that worked so now apt install caddy Okay, it looks like Caddy should all be installed. Let's come back over to our browser and see if it's running anything. Sure enough, it's not secure, so it's running on port 80, but it says that, sure enough, Caddy is installed. And it shows us what we need to do next, which is very convenient. If we wanted just to use this as a web server, we could upload files to var www html. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the configuration file, which is in etc Caddy, and it's just called Caddy file with no extension. And we're going to replace port 80 with the domain name. Then we'll reload it and that's where the magic happens, the first step of the magic. So let's do that. Let's come over here. We're going to edit, etc. Caddy, caddy file. And in here, we're going to replace port 80 with cloud.brainofshawn.com. So we'll save this. We're not doing any other changes here. Now we're gonna do systemctl restart caddy. And here's the cool part. What this should do is automatically install an SSL certificate for cloud.brainofshawn.com. Let's see if that's the case. Let's hit refresh. And look at that, HTTPS, this is now secure. SSL installation was that easy. It actually fetched that cloud.brainofshawn certificate for us from letsencrypt.org which is just stinking awesome. So right now we have a perfectly secure website. Uh, we could just put stuff in that var www.html file, but that's not what we're here for. We are going to make another entry inside the caddy file so that we can point to a service that's running on my computer. In fact, let's go, let's do a net stat dash tuna. We're gonna grep listen so we can see all the things that are currently running on our computer. So here Caddy is listening on port 80 and 443. We know that because we just saw it. But I have another service running here on port 667. This is, it's just a program called Darkstat. It runs on 667, but it's only listening on localhost, which means from the internet, we can't get to it. So I'm going to set the reverse proxy Caddy to connect to localhost and serve it out on port 80 and 443. So let's see how that works. First of all, we're going to go back into the caddy file. I'm going to comment this out. And see down here where it says another common task is to set up a reverse proxy. We're gonna do that. We're gonna say reverse proxy. 
localhost 667. Now we're still gonna use this domain. So we're not changing anything except instead of serving out files, it's going to be a reverse proxy to our local host 127.0.0.1 on port 667. So let's save this. We'll restart Caddy again. And now if we go back to the web server, instead of serving out web pages, this should be pointing to that local host port 667. Let's hit refresh. And sure enough, Darkstat is now running, showing me all of the information that is normally available only on port 667 of localhost, but Caddy is redirecting it so that it's now going from the secure HTTPS site cloud.brainofshawn.com to the internal 127.0.0.1 port 667. What's even cooler is Caddy can do multiple domains. Let's say you have 10 different domains pointing to that same IP address uh, that, that cloud.brainofshawn.com is set up to. You can have each individual name go to a different service or a different port on your computer, and you only have those two ports, 80 and 443, exposed, plus Caddy automatically does the SSL certs for you. It's super powerful. It takes very little memory and CPU. There's really no reason not to use it. And I love to use Caddy as a, as a reverse proxy, but like as a front end for all of my Docker containers, because a lot of times those Docker containers need to be mapped to a port, and then you can also secure them using SSL. And you don't have to worry about trying to get SSL working inside of Docker because it's all secured at the reverse proxy level. It's possible that you've never even heard of Caddy, but I hope that you install it today or this weekend or whatever day it might be. Give it a try because it's simple, it's powerful, and it's just awesome. I'll see you next time for the Brain of Sean Tech Tip of the Day, or I still haven't named it right. See you next time. All you have to do is copy this and paste, oh my gosh, uh, paste it one time. <laughs> if you paste it a hundred times and I, oh my gosh. What is happening? I just, I just want to get out. <laughs> why can't I exit the file? Sean, why is your Linux machine making the Windows sound? Oh my gosh. Ah now it's possible you've never even heard of Krabby. Krabby? <laughs> Krabby. Ah!